Hello, this is Adam from Semantic Mastery. I uh, just wanted to talk to you real quick about IFTTT and Buffer. Um, we've had some questions about how you can use Buffer or more precisely what Buffer was in the first place and what it's doing with IFTTT. So real quick up front, um, what you can do is use Buffer. It's at bufferapp.com and I'll show you the inside of that in just a second. It's another free service that you can sign up for with just email and a password. Um, what you can do is activate recipes inside of IFTTT that then get pushed to the Buffer app um, channel in IFTT and that pushes to Buffer and then you can use Buffer to post to places like Google+. Um, with IFTTT you cannot uh, post or send things along to Google Plus automatically um, but these two tie together very nicely to offer that uh, along with some other options but let me show you what I'm talking about here. If you go into your channels in IFTTT, again if you don't have an IFTTT account you can just uh, go to IFTTT.com, sign up for free and check out the channels tab and go down and we will look for buffer right here. This is it. So if you just click on it, if you've already created a buffer account then you can log into that and activate it. If not, uh, you'll be prompted to do so. And If you go over here, I've already logged in. Uh, this is buffer. Again, another quick login and they say, you know, hey, get connected. If you want to connect a Twitter account or a Facebook profile, you can do that too. Um, but if you specifically want to try to post to Google+, you can go over here and then you can connect a page. So obviously, yeah, um, if you, you want to be logged in to the account that you're going to uh, connect the page to, or you would be prompted to anyways, but that's how that works. Uh, because again, if you go back here to IFTTT, um, you know, if you look down here, uh, you'll see Gmail, you'll see Google Drive, Google Calendar, but there's no Google Plus page. Um, so also they do offer some additional things here. You can see LinkedIn, App.net, Facebook, Twitter. Um, so if you wanted to do some of that, you could also push to those channels. Uh, but the Google Plus is a really, really nice one. So again, all you would do is go in here, you would make sure it's activated, and then you would create a recipe for this. All right, and you click on create, and you'd say if this, and your trigger is going to be wherever you are getting your information from. I mean it could be anything. Uh, a lot of times it's an RSS feed so you click on feed and then you would add whatever the feed is but it could be something too like oh maybe you're posting from your Facebook page and you want that to be copied over to Google Plus or a bookmark you know you've got an account where you're uh, uploading something that you want to share on Google Plus so you pick that and then when you go down to your next steps um, all you're gonna put in is uh, your buffer as the, the that. So if this, the this is just whatever you want to share, and then that would be buffer. Um, the only issue, not issue with this, but thing to be aware of is it does take a little while because it sends it to buffer and buffer um, takes a little while to send them out. So you might have a delay of up to about a day between the two. Um, anyways, if you're interested in finding out some more information about how to use IFTTT and things like buffer, um, to work as a good syndication tool for your content, head over to ifttseo.com slash pdf. Uh, get some more free information, show you exactly how to set up these recipes and what you can do with it. Thanks for watching.